All right, I just stamped. <laughs> I did this whole thing. I thought the, the video was on, but it wasn't. So I want to show you what I did. This is going to be for a page in my summer notebook. Um, been doing a bunch of those over the last um, couple weeks or so. So I'm taking one of the speech, the filled in speech bubble stamps. This is the heart speech bubble. And I have two pieces of paper that are four and a quarter by 8.25, which is pretty close to the dimensions inside here. That is leaving a little bit of a seam in there, which is fine with me. Um, but what I did is I used a couple different inks. So I used, and this is totally inspired by our stamp day and kind of thinking outside the box related to stamping. I used Hyman, that's this one here. I used this um, Ranger Archival ink, that's this one here. Actually, no, that's not true because this is like the second stamp of that. It's underneath these ones that got a little bit of orange on them too. So then I did Tillamook over here and I also used um, this is the um, spiced marmalade. And then I did some on top of each other. So you can see where I have some where it has both the orange and the yellow on there. This is literally just playing around, adding a little bit more, going over the top. Um, super fun to set this up that way. Now, something that I've been thinking a lot about um, playing around with, and this is something that if you end up taking uh, the travel, uh, it's called Stories to Finish Travel, where we're doing travel albums, I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the notebook this time. And I'm thinking a lot about different ways that you can attach something else inside of the notebook. And so my idea here, and we'll see how this all works out, is that obviously these are gonna get adhered down into the notebook and then you're just like turning page by page, right? Um, but I'm thinking, I have this card from the June Stories by the Month kit and I love it. And I'm thinking like, what could I do to be able to have this in here as another page? And so, I'd already thought this through a little bit because I was playing around with this whole concept right here of like, this is something, you know, I took a, I punched a circle out. I could adhere it to the back of here so it would be um, folded down and then it becomes a page on the inside. So I'm wondering if I use this same concept, right? I adhere this probably with something really strong like red line tape. I can adhere this then to this piece, right? so that then I would have something that would allow this to be able to um, flip open and I can put another photo on the other side. So that is what I am thinking about doing um, here with this. And I wanna just see if I can make this work. And I'm pretty sure I can. I'm actually just gonna go ahead. Uh, I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna put in those hearts. I might regret doing this right now and <laughs> wish that I waited a little bit, but I think it's gonna be, it's gonna end up pretty cool. So I'm just taking that, sticking it right on the back there. Again, because I want to adhere this part onto the back to create a flap or a, you know, a middle page on the inside. And there's probably tons of different ways that you could do this. Um, I'm just playing around with what came to mind uh, to me. So we'll try to get it kind of in the middle there, allow that to attach. This should, it should work. And then, like I said, I'll probably put a, um, a photo on the back, right? I might wanna move that down. I'm probably gonna leave it, but I might wanna move it down a little bit. So then that becomes just another page in here. Obviously this will get adhered. I might have to pull it back a little bit. I'm trying to work that out anyway. That's um, something that I am playing around with today. All right, so I went ahead and printed out a picture, which is these, uh, they're called Brown Eyed Girls. So cool. This is the first time I've had these. They are a, they're, they're an annual, and I don't always have a lot of annuals in my garden because I kind of like having the perennials that I don't have, you know, that they just come back year after year. But anyway, I love how these look, and so I thought this would be really fun to put right on here. And I'm gonna line it up with that corner, I might have to trim it just a tad. So what I'm thinking, what I, I put, I added this on in Photoshop before I printed. And I, what I'm thinking that I will um, do is just have this be a thankful uh, 
page, right? The other thing that I could have done, and I'll look through my stamps and find one that says thankful. This could have been the other full page photo, right? That's what I've been doing quite a few times in here. Like there's one, you know, with the full page photo. Um, but I think that's gonna work just fine. So I wanna trim this down a little bit. Okay, again, let's see this in, how this is gonna work in the album. And actually it could work on the outside too, right? Like it could be a flip out. That would also be something that would totally work here. And that's something that I could actually change my mind and do. But I think at this time I want it to be um, in the middle. We'll see how that goes. All right, so the next thing for me is just looking through my stamps and finding one that says thankful that I can stamp on, um, on those hearts. All right, so I looked through my stamps and one of the ones I have is this one called Gratitude. I'll have to see if we have this one available anymore. Um, it might be one that we don't have, but we've used the theme of gratitude or thankfulness lots of times because it's one of my um, favorite ways to tell stories. So a couple things on here. One of the things that I'm thinking about um, with this is that I could stamp across there. And I kind of like that because that would be something different than I've done before. So let's do it. So I'm going to keep this one just fun and bright and simple, right? Like that's one of the great things I think about working in a notebook like this is that it doesn't have to be complicated and it just feels fun to get some of those little thoughts documented and I get to play, right? Playing, doing a little stamping, adding a little color, just kind of into all the color right now. Just I'll take it all. Again, I'm just using Scotch rolling adhesive to add that in there. This one's, I can see that it's a little bit off, like my my cardstock wasn't quite where it was supposed to be, or quite as tall maybe as it was before. But um, we're rolling it, we're, we're going with it. Okay, guys, I think this is gonna work. I be my book's gonna get a little, a little thick, but that's a fun way, a fun thing to play around with. If you're, if you're interested in trying the traveler's notebooks and playing around with them, or just notebooks in general, like Heidi's um, storyline chapters notebooks would be another way that you could do this. You know, also like I showed before, you could have it come off the outside, but I think this just looks super fun. Okay, so now I'm gonna do, finish up with the corners over here. All right, and there you go. A little pocket notebook page for today.